Welcome back to The Edge. Hey, time now for our prep spotlight. Uh, boy, what a weekend this has been. Joined by our prep expert, Doug Ritchie, and uh, been kind of all over the place this weekend, for sure. Yeah, saw three regional games, even fit a girls game in there. Came out with a tweaked hamstring, but <laughs> I got three weeks to go. I'm going to play through this now one. A little reddish cramp, I think we'll <laughs> yep. be all right. Oh, well, we're going to talk tonight about all the sectional matchups that are going on from the teams in our area and boys basketball as they move to sectionals. We start with Apple and East, whose uh, road has gotten considerably easier this weekend. Yeah, uh, they took care of business against Final Act, and then number two, Wisconsin Rapids, Oshkosh West, Oshkosh North, all did favors by losing. Yeah. Now they got seeds five, six, and seven in the other part of that sectional. Well, you know, Appleton East, of course, a lot of expectations at the top, the number one team in the state, basically. And uh, so this year, a little bit different than last year, sister coach. The expectations are totally different. We were a number four seed last year heading into the tournament. This year we're a one seed and number one in the state, so these kids have a lot of expectations that are going to just naturally seep through their into their heads, a lot of pressure, and uh, you know, we'll see how they respond to it. It's not an easy, easy thing to be playing with those expectations on your head, but uh, it was a good first step. Well, on the other side of the bracket, you've got Appleton West and North, both upset winners. They'll play in the sectional, split two meetings each this year, winning on the other's home court. But really just kind of find out who's going to get pounded by Apple East, probably. It's potentially, and even though West won at North, this is a sectional. I don't think where you play matters. Yeah. yeah it, they're pretty even, so it's who's going to be better that day. They're pretty even, evenly matched. I kid about getting pounded by Apple East because <laughs> obviously these regional matchups are always very, very tight. Yep. All right, you know, uh, elsewhere in Division One, De Pere and Pulaski, they, they know each other. <laughs> They'll play again. They faced off in the sectional semis. De Pere beat Pulaski just three weeks ago, though, Doug. They beat them three weeks ago, but that doesn't count when they play next this coming week. No, they got to okay. play all over again. You don't get a five-point lead to no, start? No, you don't get that. And it, it's going to be a grind. Pulaski likes to grind. If you wants to go up and down, it's going to be a really interesting matchup. It's a FRCC game. It's a third time this year. Yeah, exactly. Well, you head out to the Brown County Ridge. You know, you know, the, you know, those games are always a lot of fun. Sheboy Sheboygan North and Bayport are going to meet again as well. Bayport uh, won their only other meeting by a point. Uh, but this Bayport team is pretty complete. There's also a very tight matchup here, though. Yeah, I like Bayport. They went down to North, had to win for the FRCC title, beat them by one. That's all you got to win That's by. That's all you got to win by. And so they won a pressure pack game at North. Now they get them at the Brown County Arena. And as we like to call it, it's the FRCC tournament. Yeah, exactly. Like a trip to Super Sectionals on the line. Yeah, that's right. And the, the Super Sectionals is going to be kind of interesting. It's a week from Tuesday, of course. All right, we move on now to Division Two. No real surprises here. Seymour, Rivers advance to the sectionals. And, and, and really, not a lot of problem for these, these two teams. They're both great teams. No, but each, uh, all their opponents had a welcome mat for them and said, <laughs> come on in and score some points. And yeah. that's what these two teams do. And I put the over under at Two Rivers Seymour at 140. Yeah, yeah something like that. I don't know if Vegas has anything. Taking on this the over. One, but you know, Thunder 21 and 3. They've lost to two D1 schools, one from Minnesota. They've also beaten a bunch of D1 schools. Uh, Two Rivers is 23 and 1. This should be a fun. This could be one of the most entertaining games. This could be a really fun game, and I, I think the winner goes to state. Yeah, they still got to win another game by. Yeah. These two teams are just so good, and uh, it's going to be fun to watch them this week. Division three now, perhaps the biggest surprise of the tournament, I thought. Valder's beating Brilliant in the regional semis. Brilliant not even getting through one game. Now, that meant Ron Colley didn't have to play Brilliant again. They move on. They'll take another top seed and try to take them down instead. Wrightstown, and this should be an interesting matchup. Yeah, you know, Wrightstown uh, did not contest uh, Ron Colley very well during the regular season, but memory serves me, Valder's didn't uh, push Brilliant. But still. And then what happened in yeah, the regionals? Still won. Wilders pulled it off. So you, you would think Ron Colley wins this game, but they, you know, they're going to have to play a conference foe who's playing well. It's going to be interesting. Well, Wrightstown got hammered by Ron Colley, losing by 30, and then they lost again uh, later in the year. We'll see if they can turn that around. On the other side of the bracket, it's Oconto, a top seed playing Little Shoot, who beat the top seeded Amro on that side of the draw. Uh, can they do it again? Another top seed. Well, this is interesting. The state scoring leader, Ryan DePaul from Oconto, goes against a really good defense in Little Shoot. Mm -hmm. He's going to, there's going to be a lot of pressure on him to score a lot of points. And Little Shoot doesn't give up a lot. They allowed 36 to a really good Amro team, so that's going to be a tough matchup. Division four now, or a couple of two seeds, made it to the sectionals. On one side, uh, Oshkosh Lords and Algoma. Uh, Lords beat Bondowell. Uh, Algoma, Peshtigo. I mean, this is, all, this is going to be an in interesting look. Yeah, you know, and the winner obviously gets their one game away. They might get Amherst in a sectional final, but both playing well. Both had winnable, winnable games against Bondowell and Peshtigo, pulled them off. I've seen Lords in the past, good team. And, and if uh, 
these teams don't look at Lords and think, ah, we might, you know, they're not a great team. Mm -hmm. They're going to get beat. Lords is good enough. Yeah, they, they're sneaky. I mean, again, they'll come up and they're very fundamentally sound, I and mean, that's the way you do it. Well, also on in sectional semifinals, uh, Laconia and Oostburg going at it, and this could be one of the best games of the entire <laughs> sectional tournament. One loss between them, Doug. Uh, that should be good. It's at Fond du Lac High School if you want to head out to that one. That should be uh, a lot of fun to watch as well. Division 5, no surprise here. <laughs> Surring, Green Bay, NEW Lutheran playing in the sectionals, Doug. Uh, and really, we kind of expected this, didn't we? Yeah, you know, we actually talked about this game in December yeah. in our preview show. Yeah. Well, now it's coming. <laughs> and uh, Surring beat New Lutheran at Surring earlier this year. But now they got to go on a neutral court and beat them. And Taylor Zimmerman, 28 the other night yeah. in their regional final win. Going to be a tough match. Seniors this, stepping up. Yeah, going to go down to the wire. I Doug think. Ritchie, of course, went one-on-one -on -one with A.W. Lutheran senior, senior Taylor Zimmerman. Asked him about this matchup as well. Our team, I think we got a lot of experience coming back from last year. Um, a lot of seniors. So we got a lot of experience. We all played together um, in previous years. Um, I think we've been, at the beginning of the season, we were, uh, we were meshing well. We all... We were playing together as a team, we were playing well, and um, I thought we could make another run at uh, State again. I think we're all prepared for what's to come. There was a lot of close games, so it's, it's not like we're, we're not ready for the big teams or the close games. You could be starting in the section of semi, and you lost there this year. Is, that, is there any concern over that? We thought we, we would go in there and... Uh, beat them but uh nobody nobody really had a great game that day and we only lost by six so it's it kind of gives us some hope that we can we'll be fine 